Well, the horses are stepping onto the track for the 12th and final race. Phillies and mares, maidens condition claiming pays of one lie purse to $2,000. Second half of the late double exact uh, trifecta, superfecta wagering. Drivers change on the three, Shea Elmar, Dan Noble. Scratch the five, Noble come on sick. The 10 lucky tip will score from the second tier. Number one is Liberated Sabra, owned and trained by Robert Fay of Smyrna, Delaware with Ace Nice Hunger. Number two is Ms. Silver Wheels, Silver Heels, owned by Eldon Griffin of Dayton, Ohio, trained by Joseph Hall, Brett Miller. The three is Shea Alamar, owned by Larry Rice of Dayton, Ohio, trained by Bruce Walls, Dan Noble. The four is Pim Pam, Dandy Girl, My Miller Light, Best Bet of the Night, owned by Huddleston and Weingartner of Chillicothe, Ohio, trained by Dan Ader, Kyle Ader is up. The five, Noble, come on, is out sick. Number six, Towner Sally, owned by Gilmore, Rogers, and Batchy Jr. They're of Ohio and Florida, trained and driven by Ricky Heitman. Number seven, as always, owned by T.D. Van Camp of Circleville, Ohio, trained by Tom Blankenship, Sandy Beatty. On the eight, play direct, owned by Sharma Kuchbach of Chillicothe, Ohio, trained by Jerry Kuchbach, the K-Man, Kane Kaufman. For the outside of the nine, come on, Indian Angel, owned by Jerry Somers of Pickerington, Ohio, trained by David Abbott with Bob Harper. And for the second tier, number 10, Lucky Tip, owned and trained by Larry Roberts in London, Ohio, Jim Daly, Ian Hersulke. That's the field for the 12th and final, second half of the late double exact to trifecta. Well, the 12th race, Phillies and Mares, Superfecta Pacers are all moving in behind the gate, down to a field of nine with a scratch of the five. Noble, come on, sick. Eight on gate, one of the second tier. The Albert starting gate swings into the back stretch, and they're getting set for the start for the finale. Field in motion. They're off and pacing and firing away for the lead from the inside. There goes Ms. Silverheels, who's on the go there, driving up from the inside. Liberated Sabra parked three deep into the first turn. Up on the outside of there, that is the three, Shea Alomar, who is clearing to the front end now, and Shea Alomar and Dan Noble on the front end here. Along the inside, coming away in two as they step towards the opening quarter mile mark of the race. That is the two, Ms. Silverheels along the rail, third, Liberated Sabra, opening quarter, came and went in a spirited 27 and four fifths. On top, Shea Alomar followed closely there by Ms. Silverheels. Third on the inside, Liberated Sabra sent first over the outside in fourth, that is Towner Sally. Fifth, that is always, second over the outside, now in six to follow the cover that is Pim Pam Dandy Girl. A break of four there, racing in eighth as they step into the clubhouse turn. That is Lucky Tip, or seventh rather. Eighth on the inside, play direct, and ninth and trailing the field as they step towards the halfway mile mark of the range. That is, come on, Indian Angel. They reach the half in 57 and four fifths and off the turn and driving down the backside. Heads are pointed towards three quarters and on top. From the inside with the lead here, that is Shea Elmar, but now with the outside, Towner Sally is clearing to the front end tier. Up on the outside there in third and setting sail that is Pim Pam Dandy Girl followed by Always There as they step towards the three quarter mile mark of the race and Towner Sally has drifted off the pylons here but leading it by four and a half but Pim Pam Dandy Girl is closing in with every single stride along with Always three quarters and 126 and four fives. They'll pace to the top of Heartbreak Lane and on top of the field leading the way Towner Sally but her strides are shortening here to the outside Pim Pam Dandy Girl and ready to be swung three high Always to the top of the stretch. Less than an eighth of them how to pace and they're on their way home. And down the stretch they come. Towner Sally with a late tear. Move to the inside. Pim Pam Dandy Girl way out wide always but at the wire. Towner Sally in front. Always to go second. Pim Pam Dandy Girl was third. The round out the super the 10. Lucky tip. Time of the mile 157. Three fifths. Towner Sally in a first career victory. Side of the winner's circle, the unofficial winner of the 12th and final range, timed at 157 and 3 for a first career victory. Here's the six Towner Sally. A three old Bay Philly by Towner's big guy to the goalie Jeff Mayer, Fantasy Philly, owned by Gilmore, Rogers, and Batchy Jr. They're of Ohio and Florida, nicely trained to driven to victory by Ricky Heitman. For the six Towner Sally, 157, three fifths, first career victory. The six, Towner Sally, returning 13, 60, 4, 20, 280. Second, the seven, always returning 3, 20, 260. Third of the four, Pim Pam, Dandy Girl, 260. Late doubles, 6, 6, $212, 20, 